UConn moved on to the final four with a thrilling win over Baylor in the women's NCAA tournament, but it was the ending that everyone was talking about. I'm Robin Lundberg here with Ben Pickman and Ashley Nicole Moss, and the, the ending in reference, Carrington of Baylor goes up for the shot and looks like she is fouled and there is a no call. So, Ben, just how bad was the no call? To me, the, the still image makes it look worse than it did in real time because it was kind of a forced play, but that doesn't mean she wasn't hit on it. Yeah, but to me, I think it was more a question of who are you calling the foul on, right? It looked like Dijonay Carrington, when she went up for that shot, got fouled twice, right? And this is what she said, once kind of in the face, a smack in the face, and once in the arm as well, and the picture certainly proves that. And I think the video in real time does as well. And that's why when she hit the floor, you know, she had that look, that puzzlement look on her face, and she actually mouthed what? And you could see that on the cameras, and I think that was a really fair response, right? There's no guarantee, though, let's be clear, that she would have made both free throws. There's no guarantee that Baylor would have won the game. And if you think back just a couple possessions earlier, you know, Baylor was only in this position because UConn, Kristen Williams, she missed two free throws to keep it at a one-point a one game. So there was a lot of missed opportunities on both sides. You can't say Baylor lost the game because of the no call, but certainly I think it was a foul, a question of which foul could have been two fouls. And, and I certainly think the reaction that it sparked is justly deserved, right? It definitely was a foul in my opinion. Well, Ashley, and the reaction comes from when you see a game that, that is that great and it's not determined in a way that everybody, you know, feels great about coming out. Yeah, and I think that speaks to also a bigger issue. You know, you never want to put a shot like that in the ref's hands. I actually wish you would have gotten a better shot, a better look at it, because you never want to go ahead and have it come down to that. But it speaks to a bigger issue, not just in college hoops and professional hoops in all sports, the officiating is very inconsistent. It seems that sometimes they get fouls right, sometimes they don't. Sometimes fouls are consistent, sometimes they're not. And that's where the frustration comes from because things that are blatant fouls, like I think this was, I mean, her forearm was on her forehead. It was blatant, it was right there. You're supposed to call that. And in a game like this, in a game that matters this much, you're supposed to get the calls more right than you get wrong. And it seems that a lot of the times officiating across the board is missing these game-deciding calls. And it's frustrating. As a fan of the game and as a player of the game, it just cannot happen. And that's where the work needs to be done to be corrected. You know, look, it is tough. It is a tough job, and when we we focus on on one call like that, you mentioned they could have gotten a better shot. I think what would happen there was it, it was a force, right? So it, it felt like, all right, this is going to be a miss. But then the the shot was so short, you have to realize maybe there was some contact there, considering how well Carrington had played going into that shot. 